how to measure success on social networks is a very difficult topic because it's not only the number of followers and the number of fans, as we said, but it's also the engagement. It's also the number of comments, the number of likes, so the responses you get, the interaction you get, the engagement, the way it shares, it spreads, the retweets, it's much more difficult to assess even though there are some uh, tools to measure that. The number of mentions of your brand or of your topics on Twitter and on public search. It can also be the number of members of a community, which can be assessed by uh, the number of um, members of an email list. The number of people who show up to real events, if you, if you do some kind of promo, if you sample a product, uh, how many request a sample, how many request a, uh, a sales rebate. Also, there is the positive or the negative, the sentiment. How do they feel? What do they say? They talk about your brand. Is it positive or is it negative? And uh, there are also a number of tools we can, which can measure this. But generally, it's, it's something difficult. It's not like buying a number of page views or a number of banner views. It's definitely different than advertising. And uh, there are to be standards which uh, should be created, but they are not there yet. I really advise you vote to uh, read Jeremiah O. Young's blog from The Ultimator, which is really good about all those uh, topics.